Happening today, crews plan to move the barge that has been stranded off the coast of Mayport for the last three months. Yeah, it was filled with coal ash, which contains chemicals like lead, arsenic, and mercury. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy joins us live this morning from Hannah Park. Jen, the barge still has a way to go, and there's pollution concerns as much of the contents are believed to have leaked into the ocean. Good morning. We've spoken to several environmental groups who are concerned about the environmental impact this will have. And if you take a look over my left shoulder, we can see the barge from where we are here in Hannah Park. You can also see the tugboats around it. We are learning that the plan is for this barge to make its way to the North Florida shipyards. This morning, this 418 foot barge named Bridgeport is floating again. It got stuck off the coast of Atlantic Beach back in March after hitting the jetties. The News for Jack's I team recently learned more than 9,000 tons of coal ash spilled from the barge into the ocean. According to marine science experts, this ash contains toxic materials like lead and mercury. And several environmental groups tell News for Jack's they're concerned about the impact it will have on the environment and sea life. The St. John's River Keeper recently sang in part, while we don't anticipate significant impacts to water quality within the St. John's River from the spill, we do have concerns about ash contaminants entering the aquatic food chain, including fish that use the river. In a recent update from the city of Atlantic Beach, the mayor says she is in constant communication with the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, adding the DEP tells her in part, it is no less safe to swim now than it was before the cargo was discharged. There is no advisory issued and monitoring at the beach and Mayport boat ramp has shown no contaminants in the sand. Incident response says that safety both for the community and the environment is a top priority as they continue these salvage efforts. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.